Hey everyone, before we jump into today's assignment, I hope you've had a chance to go through and complete assignment one. That first task focused on network traffic analysis using tools like Wireshark, where you explored how to capture and inspect network packets to identify threats. Now, we're stepping into a new dimension of cybersecurity, web application security. This assignment gives you hands-on experience with common web application vulnerabilities in a safe, ethical lab environment. You'll test insecure apps like DVWA and OWASP Juice Shop, both designed for learning cybersecurity. You'll try attacks like SQL injection, where you trick a website into revealing data or skipping login checks. You'll also explore cross-site scripting, or XSS, by injecting small scripts to cause unexpected behavior. Another focus will be broken authentication, where weak session handling might let someone take over an account. As you work, take screenshots to show your process and results. Make sure to clearly explain each step and suggest how the issues could be fixed. This is a great way to understand how hackers think, and more importantly, how to stop them. And the best part? You'll be using free open source tools. We'll go over setup instructions soon. Let's dive in. In this assignment, we'll be using some essential and completely free tools to simulate web application attacks. These tools are well known in the cybersecurity community and are designed for learning and ethical testing. The first one is DVWA, which stands for Damn Vulnerable Web Application. It's a purposefully insecure app you can install on your own system using Kaylee Linux or set up using XAMPP or LAMP on a local machine. You can download it directly from the DVWA GitHub page. Next, we have OWASP Juice Shop. This is a modern and intentionally insecure web app developed by OWASP, and it's ideal for practicing your hacking skills in a legal and controlled environment. The best part is you don't even need to install it. You can try it online through platforms like TryHackMe or launch it instantly using the Heroku demo link provided on their website. Lastly, Burp Suite Community Edition is a powerful tool that helps you intercept and analyze HTTP requests. It acts like a middleman between your browser and the web server so you can see and manipulate traffic, which is super useful for discovering security flaws. With these tools, DVWA, Juice Shop, and Burp Suite, you'll have everything you need to practice your attacks, analyze vulnerabilities, and build a strong understanding of web app security. Let's walk through how to set up your environment for this assignment. There are two options, DVWA, which you can run locally, and Juice Shop, which is available online without any installation. If you choose DVWA, start by installing either XMPP or Kaylee Linux. Once your environment is ready, clone the DVWA repository from GitHub. Next, place the downloaded files into the htdocs directory. After that, start Apache and MySQL services to bring the local server online. Go ahead and set up the database through the DVWA interface. And finally, make sure to set the security level to low. This will allow the application to be intentionally vulnerable so that you can practice common attacks safely. If you prefer something faster, Juice Shop is a great alternative. You can use its hosted version directly from the browser without installing anything. Just go to the Try Hack Me platform or the Heroku demo link and you're good to go. Choose whichever option you're comfortable with. Both will let you complete the assignment successfully. Now, let's walk through a basic SQL injection attack to demonstrate how vulnerable login forms can be exploited. Step one, open the login page. This is your entry point. Step two, enter a malicious username. Use a classic SQL injection string like single quote space or quote one equals one. Step three, leave the password blank. No password is required for this attack to work. Step four, click login and observe. If the system is vulnerable, you'll gain access without valid credentials. This shows a successful login bypass. This simple attack highlights why input validation and secure coding practices are essential for application security. Let's talk about cross-site scripting, commonly known as XSS. This is one of the most common and powerful web vulnerabilities. To test for XSS, the first step is to find an input field on a website. This could be a form field like name, comment, search, or even a feedback box. Once you find an input field, 
The next step is to enter a script payload. For example, type in the following, open script tag, alert, open parenthesis, quote, XSS, quote, close parenthesis, and close the script tag. Finally, submit the form and see what happens. If an alert box pops up with the message XSS, it means the site is vulnerable to cross-site scripting. This simple test helps you understand how unfiltered input can lead to script injection and why input validation is so important. Now let's look at broken authentication, a serious issue where attackers can hijack a user's session. Step 1. Log into the application and observe the cookies or tokens being generated in the browser. Step 2. Open the browser's developer tools, commonly known as DevTools, and go to the application tab, then navigate to cookies. Step 3. Copy the session token. Now try pasting it into a different browser or device to simulate a session hijack. Step 4. Log out from the original browser and then test whether the token is still valid in the second browser. If it is, that means the session wasn't properly terminated, a classic sign of broken authentication. This shows why secure token management, session expiration, and logout enforcement are essential in any web application. When performing security testing or penetration testing, documentation is crucial. Start with a step-by-step -step breakdown. Detail every single action you took during the attack, from identifying the vulnerability to executing the payload. Next, add screenshots. Capture key moments like the input used, the output or result, any tools involved, and what the browser displayed. Visual evidence strengthens your report. Finally, provide an explanation. Describe why the attack worked. This could be due to missing input validation, broken authentication logic, or insecure configurations. This kind of thorough documentation not only helps with remediation, but also builds credibility in your report. To strengthen application security, there are a few key measures every system should implement. First, MFA, or multi-factor authentication. By requiring something you know, like a password, and something you have, like a phone, MFA makes unauthorized access much harder. Second, secure cookies. Make sure your cookies are marked as secure and HTTP only to prevent them from being accessed via client-side scripts or transmitted over unsecured connections. Third, escape HTML. This helps prevent cross-site scripting attacks by ensuring that any user input displayed on the page is rendered as text. When preparing your final report, please follow these three important guidelines. First, report length. Your submission should be around two to three pages in length, concise but thorough. Second, content. Be sure to include detailed descriptions of the vulnerability, the steps taken to exploit it any payloads used, screenshots, explanations, and your security recommendations. Third, format. Submit your report as either a PDF or a docx file. Make sure everything is readable and well organized. These standards help maintain consistency and clarity across all submissions. To deepen your understanding of web application security, here are some great resources for further learning. First is OWASP, a widely respected organization offering security best practices. Their cheat sheets provide concise, actionable guidance on securing applications. Next, try hands-on learning with Juice Shop, an intentionally vulnerable web app created by OWASP to practice exploiting and securing real-world scenarios. You can find it on their GitHub page. Lastly, we have DVWA, or Damn Vulnerable Web Application, another platform to safely test web vulnerabilities in a controlled environment, also available on GitHub. These tools are excellent for practice and staying current with common web threats and defense strategies.